In this easy ad video lecture, we will learn work of a force, work of a spring, work of a weight force, work of a friction force, kinetic energy, potential energy, and conservation of energy. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. How is work done by a force? Consider a force on the block acting at an angle theta. This force causes the block to displace by distance s. Work done is calculated in the direction of displacement. Therefore, work done by force is F cos theta into S. Note, work will be zero if theta is 90 degree. How is work done by a spring? Consider an undeformed spring of stiffness K. Suppose a man deforms the spring by pulling it up to the length X1. Then another man deforms the same spring by pulling it to length X2. Spring has its own force which will try to bring back its true length. Here the spring force is given by negative kx as actual force is opposing the spring force. Work done is calculated in the direction of the deformation of spring. Therefore work done by the spring between position 1 and position 2 is given by the following equation. How is work done by a weight force? Consider a bodybuilder lifting mass m, that is weight, is equal to mg. Weight is displaced vertically by height h. As the weight force is acting downwards, work done by weight force is negative mgh. Consider the note while working for force under weight force. How is work done by friction? Consider a block of mass m sliding on an inclined plane, covering distance s. If mu is the coefficient of static and kinetic friction, then the motion of the block is resisted by the frictional force mu n. Therefore, work done by friction force is given by the following equation. What is kinetic energy? Consider a car of mass 15,000 kg moving with a velocity of 4 meter per second. So the kinetic energy possessed by the car is given by half into mass of the car and square of the velocity with which the car is moving. So the kinetic energy possessed by the car is 1,20,000 joules. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the particle by virtue of its motion. Let us now see how work, energy and power are interrelated. Work refers to an activity involving force and moment in the direction of force. Suppose a force of 20 Newton is used to push a block to about 5 meters then the work done by force is 100 joules. Energy is the capacity of doing work. It is like currency. To do 100 joules of work, you need to spend 100 joules of energy. Power is the rate of doing work or the rate of using energy. If you do 100 joules of work using 100 joules of energy, the power is 100 watts. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Consider a collar of mass m travels from point 1 with velocity v1 to point 2 with velocity v2. The collar is moving on a curved path under the action of force f at angle alpha. For the motion applying Newton's second law equation. Therefore, f cos alpha equals m multiplied by at. Now, at equals partial derivative of velocity upon time. Multiplying and dividing by ds on right hand side. Here ds is the small arc length travelled by the collar in dt time. Now ds by dt denotes velocity. Therefore we get f cos alpha ds equals mv dv. Now integrating the above equation between point 1 and point 2, we get the following equation. On evaluating we get the equation as shown. Left hand side represents work done by force. Now if T1 represents kinetic energy at point 1 and T2 represents kinetic energy at point 2, then we get the equation for work energy principle. Let us consider a problem on work energy principle. Consider a 20 kg steel collar is being raised from rest at position 1 by a 300 Newton force applied as shown. The collar is guided by a smooth rod and a spring whose free length is 0.3 m. Find the speed of the collar as it reaches position 2. The collar is moving up due to the force. Applying work energy principle to the moving collar from position 1 to 2. 
at position 1, collar is at rest. Therefore, its kinetic energy is 0. At position 2, its kinetic energy is given by half mv square. On evaluating, we get the following value. Here, work is done by a force, by a spring, and by a weight force. Here, work done by a force is given by F multiplied by S. On evaluating, we get work done as 259.81 Newton meter. Work done by spring is given half Kx1 square minus x2 square. Deformation of spring at position 1 and position 2 is given by spring length minus free length. On evaluating, we get x1 as 0.3 meter and x2 as 0.866 meters. On substituting the values, we get work done by spring as minus 49.49 Newton meters. Work done by weight force is given by minus mgh. On substituting the values, we get weight force as minus 196.2 Newton meters. Now using work energy principle and substituting respective values, we get speed of the collar as 1.18 meters per second. A boy on the park swing is at initial position. As he applies a force, the boy starts swinging as shown. In his motion, potential energy is present at three points. One at the initial position, second at extreme right, and third at extreme left. Potential energy is the energy possessed by the particle by virtue of its position with respect to the ground. Potential energy means body at rest. Potential energy is given by mgh. The law of conservation of energy says that energy is neither created nor destroyed. When we use energy, it doesn't disappear. We change it from one form of energy into another. A train running on a coal engine is converting the heat energy of coal into mechanical energy. Solar cells change radiant energy into electrical energy. Energy changes form, but total amount of energy in the universe stays the same. We are only concerned with mechanical energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. Here's the equation for conservation of energy. Let us see how equation of conservation of energy is used in the problem. Determine the smallest amount by which the ball at P must be compressed against the spring so that when it is released from P, it reaches point Q. Weight of ball is 3 newtons. Neglect frictions on the curved surface. We have given that the equation of curve as y equals x square. So according to the given condition, we get the value of y. Your only conservative forces are acting, that is spring force and weight force. So using conservation of energy principle. Let us assume that the spring is compressed by x meters. Considering potential energy for spring, potential energy at position 1 and 2 is as shown. For ball, Potential energy at position 1 and 2 is as shown. Now considering kinetic energy, your only ball possesses kinetic energy. So kinetic energy at position 1 and 2 is as shown. On using equation for conservation of energy, we get the amount by which the spring is to be compressed. Let us take a quick overview of what we have learned in this Easy Ed video lecture. We have seen work done by a force on the block due to which the block is displaced by distance s and formulae for work done by a force. Next we saw work done by a spring where the spring is deformed by a man at two different positions. The resultant work done by the spring between the two positions is evaluated. Further we have seen work by a weight force where a man is lifting a weight and the weight is displaced by height h. Your work done by weight is negative as it is lifted against the gravity. In work by a friction, we have seen the frictional force acting against the motion of the block due to which the work done by friction is negative and is given by the formula as shown. In kinetic energy, we have evaluated the kinetic energy possessed by the car of mass m when it is moving with a certain speed. Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by the particle by virtue of its motion. In the end, we have seen a boy swinging in the park who possesses potential energy at three different positions. Potential energy is the energy possessed by the particle by virtue of its position with respect to the ground. In conservation of energy, 
we have seen that the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed and the total amount of energy in the universe stays the same and conservation of energy equation. So this was the overview of our video lecture.